hi welcome to my channel my name's becky and today is one of my favorite unboxings this is the scrawly box and this is the april 2021 edition and um, it's come through my door today and by the sounds of it it might have come apart a bit in transit scrawly box is £15 per month and it is a monthly art supply subscription. Each month it turns up with a bunch of supplies, a surface to do your artwork on and um, a suggestion of a prompt for your art that you can do that month. The timings of it are slightly confusing <laughs> at the moment. It's supposed to be dispatched on the 10th of the month but for a few months now it's been slightly delayed for reasons around supplies, Brexit, the pandemic, all kinds of things like that. But I'm still really happy whenever it turns up. I love having something to focus my artwork once a month. And the products that come inside the boxes are usually pretty good quality. If you haven't tried Scrawler Box before and you'd like to sign up, then I'll put a code underneath the video that will give you three pounds off your first box. Um, and so you can join in the fun. So let's get started. I've just undone this little thing at the bottom here so I'll just open it up and yeah it did come out in transit normally everything is nicely contained inside these little bits of tissue so each month you get a magazine which tells you about the product and a little bit about the featured artist and the way in which they do their work uh, you get oh this is very cool and um, this is a nice picture of a flamingo and its chick here and this is a featured artist called Camilla Gardner, uh, an English artist born in County Durham. And um, it looks like we've got some paints, some watercolour paints. We've got a nice selection here of six watercolour paints. Then we have a scroll box special uh, A5 watercolour paper book. It's a bit gummy at the top there, but the paper feels nice quality. And this is 300 GSM cold pressed paper and eight sheets of it. And then finally in this little bundle, we have a sweet, uh, a Swizzles Great British Puds Rhubarb Crumble Sweet. There's always a little snack in each of these boxes. Then we also have a Derwent, little, one of those little um, kind of squeezy brush things, a water brush. We have, oh, two Chinagraph pencils, one black and one white, which need sharpening. And then we have a sticker. Again, every month you get a sticker and this obviously matches the design of the school zine magazine here. Now I'll just get everything ready to be used and then I'll give you a bit of a swatch of the various materials. Okay, I'm back. It's a slightly different time of day now because apparently I've lost all of my 2000 pencil sharpeners and I also don't have my dad's ability to sharpen pencils with a knife. So I had to go up to my local supermarket and, supermarket and buy a really, really crap sharpener here. So. The pencils are now sharpened, the paints are in a palette, and we are ready to do a swatch. So, first up we have um, the paints themselves. We have six colours of these De La Rani Agrofine watercolour tubes. Uh, we have a Chinese white, a green dark, a lemon yellow, a blue dark, a raw sienna, and an alizarin crimson hue. I think I would like to see a black in here as well, just for ease of creating other colours and shadows and things like that, but scroller box do often like to give us a bit of a challenge, so maybe that's part of this. And to apply these watercolours, I'm going to use the Derwent Push Button Water Brush here. I've used these before, but my ones are slightly less fancy and I'm not sure whether it's supposed to self-clean and stuff like that. So I also have a little glass of water here to rinse my brush just in case. So we're going to start off um, just doing a bit of the red, see how that works. 
this is it starting off quite dark and then pushing more water through it to give it a loose wash that's a really nice color there and we have i can't use these brushes this will be my challenge during this we have the raw sienna Again, just pushing some more water through it so you can see both the colour and the effects there. Uh, I'm going to go in with some of the blue. Again, a really nice blue colour and of course blends fine with the other colours. Then I'm going to go in for some of the lemon yellow. The green. And then the white which I guess I'm going to use mostly to just blend with the other colours. So, just to make a kind of a paler, more milky, or more opaque green, for example. It says about the paints um, that De La Rani proudly continue their long heritage of manufacturing in the United Kingdom, based in the south of England in Bracknell. These aquafine watercolour paints are made from a selection of modern high quality pigments that are milled to perfection, offering optimal performance and control. Aquafine watercolours are richly pigmented, free flowing colours with fantastic light fast properties. The transparent colours have excellent tinting strength and working properties that reliably produce beautiful, delicate washes every time you use them. The RRP for these paints is £2.60 each. The brush is say a derwent push button water brush it says this convenient water refillable water brush is perfect for painting on the go wherever and whenever creativity hits this brush features a large water barrel it is larger than the other water brushes i've tried and a push button for easy to control water release the bristles are made from durable nylon fibers which hold shape and point for continuous and regular use to fill it just unscrew the two halves of the barrel and pour in a little water and the rrp for this brush is $8.75. The book itself is an A5 watercolour pad, custom made just for the scrollers, excellent paper with any water-based medium. The pad contains eight sheets of premium quality paper, so you should have plenty to get you through the weeks before your next box arrives. And the RRP for this is $4.99. The other two items we have in the box are these two China Graph pencils. China Graph pencils are cool because they'll work on pretty much any surface including china, plastics, acetate, film, brick, wood and glass. It says by combining specially selected pigments and waxes they're resistant to water but you can remove them from non-porous surfaces with a dry cloth or a tissue making them for an interesting pairing of watercolour paints. It's extremely accessible and easy to use and can even be sharpened with a normal pencil sharpener. These are £1.99 each and this is what they look like. The black and the white. And obviously you can draw over the paints to add some colour. Maybe that's the way that you're supposed to get shadow with these paints in the absence of a black watercolour. Now the prompt for this month is birds of a feather, which I guess is why we had the lovely little picture of the flamingo and its chick. So I'm going to go away and see if I can create some kind of bird with these products. And this is the end result. This is my birds of a feather painting using the watercolours and also finishing off with the Trinograph pencils. I wasn't in my comfort zone. I'm not sure I particularly like this final picture, but I promised myself when I started doing these videos of scroller box unboxings that I would show my final result of the very first picture that I did, irrespective of how bad it is, because I think that the beauty of these boxes is that you do receive materials that you typically maybe wouldn't choose um, 
or aren't expert at. And you may not be good at it. Nobody expects you to be good at everything immediately, but it's really fun to try. And so I thought I'd be honest about my experience with it and how things turned out. And it's not horrible. It's fine. I really liked using the black china graph pencil. I used it. It felt kind of like when I used charcoal to finish things off. Um when you don't want something as intense as a pen, but it's more easy to manage than charcoal. So I'll definitely be using that quite a lot more. I'm not sure the white will replace my beloved white gel pens for highlights because it's just not as impactful. But it's still cool. It's still a good thing to have in my stash. I think overall, I'm a little bit too kind of impetuous. I'm not patient enough for watercolors. I don't take the time to build the color, to mix the color, or for it to dry in between doing things. And I think that that holds me back a bit when using watercolours. But I now have this lovely little kit, and so I'm going to practice a bit more. I may well buy myself a black as well to add to it. So thank you for watching this video, and if you're still here at the end, maybe give me a like and a subscribe, and I'll be back again soon with some more videos like this. Thank you.